Welcome to the World Heritage Listed Daintree Rainforest. Just two hours north of Cairns and it's where the amazing rainforest meets the famous Great Barrier Reef. As the largest living structure on the planet, the Great Barrier Reef is one of Australia's true natural wonders. With over 400 different kinds of coral and over 1,500 species of tropical fish. A short helicopter ride from Cairns allows you to get a bird's eye view of the hundreds of sections of reef and coral caves. In total contrast is the Daintree River. It's where I've jumped on a river cruise to see the rainforest from a unique perspective. I have to admit that the water looks inviting for a swim, but there's a good reason I won't be jumping in. We're just on the edge of the river right now. If you take a look over to my right, you will see one of the world's largest saltwater crocodiles. This guy is over four meters long, at least 40 years old, and he is massive. He's one of the biggest in the region. Just take a look at the footprints alone. So everyone meet Barry. He's, he's clearly a lot younger than our other friend that was on the riverbed. He's only, he's only two years old, much smaller. And as you can see, he loves to stare at you guys. <laughs> Don't you, mate? We leave Barry and head a little further north to the Daintree Discovery Centre. This is the oldest surviving rainforest on the planet and is the perfect way to see the different layers of the Daintree National Park with a multitude of rainforest boardwalks, aerial walkways and a canopy tower. This rainforest has one of the highest concentration of ancient plants. What you see around you, some of these things, such as the cycads and the ferns, date back over 450 million years, giving them the respectable name of green dinosaurs. And if you take a look to your right, you'll see a strangler fig. It's one of the largest trees they have here, but it's also one of the youngest, only 500 years old. If you're lucky, you may come across some new friends too, like cassowaries, snakes, or this little guy. He's Roger. He is a leafy stick insect, or a spiny leaf insect. I love this part of Australia. It feels pristine. I'm driving north through one of the many little freshwater rivers that are flowing from the surrounding mountains and catching up with Dave Mannering, who runs a very unique ice creamery where they grow their own flavours. So Dave, clearly excited for the obvious reason to be here, but what makes your ice cream truly unique? Mate, I think it's the fruit. We've got really weird, wonderful fruits from all over the world. Black sapote here, I know you're excited about this one. Yep, sure am. Should we, uh, should we pick one? I'd love to, mate. You must do this quite often, eh? I'm doing a bit. Doesn't make it any easier. Oh! Straight from one, there you go. One mate, hand, one bounce. One hand, one bounce. And my friends, picture the texture of a peach, but the taste of chocolate pudding. Chocolate pudding fruit, right? Yep. Mate, this is phenomenal. So you've got the black sapote. What else do you have? Have you heard of soursop? No, I haven't. Awesome. It's from the Amazon. Tastes exactly like lemonade and it's good for you. <laughs> is that right? Okay. Lemonade tasting amazingly good for you fruit. That's and it. you turn it into ice cream. Yeah. And you have your own gelato factory? We do, yeah. Just a humble little kitchen at the back of my property. All right. But the wonderful thing is we can, we can do it all from scratch with these amazing ingredients and serve it fresh every day at our little uh, Shop front. So you got it from, I guess, crop to cup, right? That's it, that is awesome. <laughs> I'm stealing that. Australia's coast is truly beautiful. At every turn, there's a secluded beach that looks like a postcard. It's time to head south to Cairns for a true indigenous experience at the Jabakai Cultural Park, where I'm gonna meet our indigenous guide, Hamish. We're here with Hamish, or also known as Gwila in his native language, which means eagle. And uh, Gwila's gonna show us today some of his traditional bush tucker. What do you got for us, my friend? All right, so what we've got here is our blue kwandong. All right, so blue on the outside, green on the inside. Yeah. So we only eat the flesh around it. Okay. You wanna have a taste, buddy? Yeah, please, thank you. Just the, just the flesh, him. huh? That's him, just the flesh. Oh, it's like a flowery texture with like a sour peach. It's beautiful. That's really nice, mate. So we don't need the seed leave for the ladies. They use it for the jewelry. Okay, amazing. What else you got, mate? We got our termite mound here. <laughs> All right, so rainforest people, termite fruit, nuts and berries, upset stomach. So what we do with this one, crush it up into a fine powder, add a bit of water, and then having a sip. Termite what does it start to do? Start to bind your stomach up. Drink too much, opposite. 
<laughs> so a termite mound is good for digestion. Yep. Amazing. It's really incredible what you can find in, I guess, you know, natural life and what the indigenous people have been doing for many years. My friend, do you think you can show me how to, you know, use a boomerang? Yeah, no worries, babe. We'll go out there now. All right, babe. So what we do, nice and straight. So we got 12. We go to one o'clock. All right. So stand at one o'clock angle. Bring over your shoulder, stepping opposite foot, then flicking forward. All right. So I'll show you first. So over, step, snap. Come around. Yo. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Here's a go, here's a go. Go forward, go forward. Come on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Go forward, go forward! <laughs> <laughs> Last stop, we head up the mountain on board the Curanda Scenic Railway. That takes us to the quaint Curanda. Known for its rainforest village and picturesque barren gorge, the area has great lookouts and boardwalks where you can see the rainforest up close and personal and walk amongst the giants. But for the best view of the rainforest, it's hard to go past the Sky Rail. The Sky Rail offers a truly unique perspective and a fitting way to end our journey to Cairns and the Daintree National Park.